Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right. All right, Micromod dude here again. And I finally finished basically my cloud, my reptile cloud uh, 149 Cinewhoop. And this thing was a work in process because I built this bad boy from scratch, piece by piece, built it all myself. And basically, there it is. So um, I'd say it probably <laughs> it'd take me a month to build this thing. Longest RC project I've ever, 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 ever had to build. But basically, there it is, all in one piece. And uh, surprise, I was able to finally get it done. So let's see, let's go over a couple things uh, of uh, what I used for the build in case you guys want to do one too. Of course, I have only uh, test hovered this so far, so I haven't really uh, flown in real time. So I can't say how good it really handles. My quick test hovers are pretty good, but um, let's see what my parts are. So basically, first thing for the main, main processor, the fly, I have a, a fly, woo, fly, woo, there it is right there. It's an F7 board flight controller. And let's look at it. It's a fly, woo, Joku F7. There it is right there. Basically put that little bad boy in there, which is good because it's got a built-in BEC because my ESC doesn't have a built-in BEC, which I needed to have for the flight controller and everything else to use. And I got the Raystar. Yes, there it is. Raystar Rev 35, 35 amp ESC, three to, three to six cells capable. These are, and by the way, this is all 30 by 30 stack, 401 ESC. That's in that bad boy right there. All right. And to uh, power up all this bad boy stuff up is we have the, what is it? The Wolf, Wolf, uh, Wolf, 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 Q3S. Oh, yeah, that's not in there. That's the antenna. I put that in the wrong bag? Yeah. Well, let me just see real quick here. Hang on a second. Okay, so that's the transmitter that I have in there. I don't know why I can't find the packaging for it, but basically, there it is. It's a Wolf Whoop Q3S. Well, actually, that was it. Okay, well, I guess I did have it right. Just seemed, I thought this was only an antenna. So the Q3-S FEV VTX, as you can see, it goes all the way up to 800, uh, uh, milliwatts of uh, power and uh, that's what's uh, powering up the transmitter and then what I'm also using uh, for the tail is a fox ear there it is fox ear lollipop 3 actually this I'm sure I'm sure I'm getting a, a different one after this because I don't like how small this is this is a lollipop 3 version there but um I'm gonna get a bigger one actually what I got coming in the mail is uh, it's 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 like a good thing it's like the triumph uh, version of it let me tell you in a second here what it is. It's this one here. Okay, so let's just take it, take, check it out there. This is actually, I don't know why it's generic here, but this is actually by Team Black Sheep. So um, this is a, like, a, I see other websites selling this for like 39 bucks, but I'm getting it for 29 bucks. A little hidden secret there for you here. And if you look at it, it's the same exact one on the other sites. So that's gonna be the one that's coming. For now, we're running the Lollipop version there. And also what we got running is for the video camera here. Look at that right in there. Cadix. We got the Cadix. Uh, Rattel 2.1 millimeter. And this actually has the filter on it too. So it's 1200 uh, TVL, 16 by nine. I have it set up for NTSC. NTSC. And yeah, it's gonna be really good here running on that one. Should have some really good, really good viewing. This actually camera actually uh, is good for nighttime too. Okay, we got that running. I also installed a Matex buzzer. This is a really loud buzzer, 5 volt buzzer. I got that put right underneath inside there. You can't even see how I did all that, but uh, it's it's in there. It's on the back there. I actually got two buzzers. <laughs> see that one right there too. Because that one's a uh, that buzzer has a battery, so if I lose the bat the main battery and a crash, this will start beeping. This is the lucky uh, the lucky buzzer, lucky box buzzer, and um, basically uh, got that one there, which will start beeping if I lose the battery. Uh, this is not very loud though, 
So that's why I had this one laying around, which is really loud. So I got two buzzers going off here. All right. And what else should do we got here in the boxes? My motors. We got the ting, was it the ting, ming, ming, ting, zing, zing motors. Zing. Zing 50 to 7300 kV motors. Little bad boys are right there. You can see the camera there. Yeah, it's hard to see. 3600 kV. And for these props right now, I just got these to so make it look cool. These are the 3045 um, style um, prop, ducted props. Um, I do have some better ones here. I got these ones here. Which one's here? The um, gem, gem fan. 75 millimeter props but when i was doing some testing i was having some problems uh with the hover test with these on because i, I was using a messed up motor messed up battery my battery was burned out and um i basically couldn't figure it out put those on and i switched batteries and it hovered so i just left them on i go hey, it works you know so there it is and let's go take it take it up for a little test hover so you can see this this little bad boy in action be right back and of course, I almost forgot to mention, I got the Tattoo R-Line Racing Batteries, 1300 milliamp, four cell power there, 95Z, constant. And i um, going to, you know, power these up. This will power up my, uh, this will give me a lot of runtime, hopefully, here to um, run my GoPro on top of there. Oh, and I haven't put the GoPro mount on there, too. Here's my GoPro mount right there. <laughs> this is actually from Banggood. Banggood, good, good. It's a U... U R U A V Unbound Hero 8. Uh basically GoPro mount. I should you know. So there's that. Okay, so I'll be right back in a second with the test video. Alright, so we're gonna go take this for a quick cover here. Let me first Welcome power up my transmitter in case you're interested. This is a jumper T12 Pro. Switch warning. Uh switch warning. Okay, which switch is oh throttle hold. Alright, so we'll get that there. And now let's go and plug this bad boy in. Okay, let's go here. Hi. All right. Hey, you hear the dual buzzers are going off. Okay, so let's back up because this bad boy might take off to go to Kingdom Come. All right. Will you look at that? Whoa! How's that look? Kinda. All right, so when I, I don't know if it's windy or what, but it's all over the place. Can you make a good job? So it kind of drifts a little bit. Could be the wind. Oh, it's not drifting there. Maybe just the wind. Um, oh, the wind. It's windy. Yeah, it's windy. Ooh, the wind is blowing it everywhere. <laughs> Ooh, whoa. Whoa, get over here, Charlie. <laughs> don't break it. Ah. Hey, the wind just pushes it. I guess because of the ducks, the wind pushes it around. I am going to add a uh, a GPS module to this and a compass. Um, the F7 uh, flight controller has a barometer already installed, so I'll be able to do altitude holds with this. Uh, so it'll, it'll, it'll hover by itself later once I add the, um, I'm going to add the GPS module. I ordered a, uh, was it a BN-880, uh, it's only about 10 grams, so it's not too bad. So as you can see there, how it hovers, pretty cool, right? Look at that little bad boy, pretty cool. Yeah. Whoa! I'm gonna lose control here. Woo! Whoa! Seems like it just to the right a little bit. Or maybe it was just my. Maybe it was just my thumb. Whoa! Oh, how's it getting away from me? Is it so windy or what? It just wants to go by itself. Okay, still connected. Yeah, it's windy. It's the wind blowing it. Man, do not fly this in the wind because it goes everywhere. Ooh, there's some wind right there. Feel it? Wow. 
So those ducks act like uh, sails with the wind. The wind just takes this little bad boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, it looks like it's going pretty good here. Yeah. Right? All right, so there it is. Again, it's the uh, the reptilian reptile cloud 149 HD version. Because there's the regular 149, cloud 149, there's the cloud 149 HD. The HD version is what allows you to mount the uh, DJI um, system on here. Of course, uh, I'm not, I don't plan on using uh, the DJI system because I don't have an extra thousand bucks. But anyways, there it is. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Be sure you subscribe. Until next time, Bye. peace out. Yes.